praise the lord kindly stand we are going to make a powerful prayer that you are joining with me in this eucharist and we are going to claim it wherever you are in any part of the country at least once in our lifetime we are to make this powerful prayer of deliverance by the power of this eucharist we are going to command every kind of wicked spirit to get out of us you have to join with me in this prayer this prayer you will be able to see this must be prayed with the bishop you have a bishop called bishop joseph srambikel and in communion with the bishop or in communion with the priest that's why even if it is not there sometimes it's important you pray it. i know certain people who pray it privately and personally and they have experienced the power there are certain secret sicknesses doctors cannot heal us we don't know the secret we only see the wind but we don't see the spirit behind it when the lion is roaring it has seen something there is something behind when this coronavirus is there maybe there is something it's an evil attack and we need to rebuke if jesus rebuked the fever in the life of mother, the mother-in-law of peter we also have god is giving us that same authority to rebuke the evil one you can repeat after me this prayer you will pray and it is here on the screen so you have to repeat pray after me together with me you can together we pray together because i am praying with you you can look onto the screen pray together with me most glorious prince of the heavenly armies saint michael the archangel defend us in our battle against the principalities and powers against the rulers of this world of darkness against the spirits of wickedness in the high places come to the assistance of men whom god has created to his likeness and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil holy church venerates thee as a guardian and protector to thee the lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven pray therefore the god of peace to crush satan beneath our feet that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the church offer our prayers to the most high that without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us take hold of the dragon the old serpent which is the devil and satan bind him and cast him into the bottomless pit so that he may no longer seduce the nations in the name of jesus christ our god and lord strengthened by the intercession of the immaculate virgin mary mother of god of blessed michael the archangel of the blessed apostles peter and paul and all the saints and powerful in the holy authority of our ministry we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil god arises his enemies are scattered and those who hate him flee before him as smoke is driven away so are they driven as wax melts before the fire so the wicked perish at the presence of god behold the cross of the lord flee bands of enemies he has conquered the lion of the tribe of judah the offspring of david may thy mercy lord descend upon us as great as our hope in thee we drive you from us whoever you may be unclean spirits all satanic powers all infernal invaders all wicked legions assemblies and sects in the name and by the power of our lord jesus christ may you be snatched away and driven from the church of god and from the source made to the image and likeness of god and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine lamb most coming serpent you shall no more dare to deceive the human race persecute the church torment god's elect and sift them as wheat the most high god commands you he with whom in your great insolence you still claim to be equal he who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth god the father commands you god the son commands you god the holy ghost commands you christ god's word made flesh commands you he who to save our race out done through your envy humbled by himself becoming obedient even unto death he who has built his church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of the hell shall not prevail against her because he will dwell with her all the days even to the end of the world the sacred sign of the cross commands you as does also the power of the mysteries of the christian faith the glorious mother of god the virgin mary commands you she who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception 
Cross your proud hand. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and of the other apostles commands you the blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints command you. Thus cursed dragon and you diabolical legions, we adjure you by the living God, by the true God, and by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only son that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy, Catholic and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus. This name which causes hell to tremble. This name to which the virtues, powers and dominions of heaven are humbly submissive. This name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly repeating. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. May the Lord be with thee. And with thy spirit. spirit. Go, let us pray together. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work. Because, because there is no other God than thee, and there can be no other. For thou art the creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before thy glorious majesty, and we beseech thee to deliver us by thy power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness, Deign, O Lord, to grant us thy powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech thee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Lord, that thy church may serve thee in peace and liberty. We beseech thee to hear us, that thou may crush down all enemies of thy church. We beseech thee to hear us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do the offerings of the heavenly host by the power of God. Thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I claim power. I claim protection. I claim security. Let all your people.
the sickness of corona in Jesus' name. Let there be deliverance. Many sick be healed. Many who are possessed to be delivered. Many who are afflicted be set free. Those who are not able to get married, let the marriage just take place. Those who are childless, let them receive children. Those who are financial bondages, let them receive a financial breakthrough. Those who are sick, let them be delivered. Those who are in bondages, let them be set free. Jesus, let your power be manifested. Those who are unable to study, let them study. Those who are unable to concentrate, let them concentrate. Those who are addicted to social media, movies, pornography, filthy things and bad habits, let them be set free. Jesus, in your name we pray. We claim your power. We claim your power. Your presence. Shanda Mahala Bhattira Mahala 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 Mighty are pouring the power of the Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, every bondage, every sickness, every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Our offer to Him is there is power in the name of Jesus. We claim it, we sing it together. As I am going to live to the part and the target, as I am going to live to the bread and wine, we are going to live your life with every bondage. Don't be afraid. We belong to Jesus. Power belongs to Him. Power belongs to Jesus. David is a deceiver. He's defeated. He's crushed under the feet of Jesus. We claim it. If Satan is afflicting anyone, we rebuke it in his name.